Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Good morning. So we've woken up this morning on the campsite. Yeah, it was lovely last night. Got a really nice sleep. And the kids had a good swim. Yeah. And they enjoyed it. It's so been it was good. good. We're just gonna hit the services on the campsite before we head off. Just fill the water up, empty the toilet, so we're nice and refreshed. And then we're gonna head down to Gibraltar. Really looking forward to this one. This has been on the top of our list for mm. a little while, isn't it? Yeah, really excited about seeing the monkeys in the mountains and there's a harbour park up we can go to, isn't there? Yeah, just on, across the other side of the border. The kids are really excited about this one because where the park up is, it's on a marina and there's an airport right in front of you and we're all fascinated by planes. Yeah, so. it literally blows our minds, doesn't it? Yeah. We, we just sit there staring at them for hours. <laughs> so the kids are really looking forward to yeah. doing a bit of plane spotting on those. Yeah. So I think on that note, darling, should we hit the road? Yeah, can we just check though, one thing? What? Let's check we've got our passports and everything and make sure yeah. we've got them in our pockets. Oh, guess what else is in Gibraltar? What? British food. Really? Yeah. Oh, there we are then. That's McDonald's on my neck. <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> right, let's hit the road, yeah. guys. <laughs> Gibraltar, baby. So do you think at Gibraltar, they drive on the right side of the road or the wrong side of the road? Well, if they're British, wouldn't they drive the same as us? They're British. It's, yeah, I would assume so, but I think because it's such a small island of the bigger continent of Spain, I'm wondering if they do actually drive on the wrong side of the road over there. Do you think they even have cars? <laughs> yeah, they have cars, love, and running water, and electric. No, I don't mean that. I mean, look, <laughs> it's just a rock. Can you not see that? It's yeah, a yeah, rock. Yeah. I thought it was just cable cars and monkeys. I guess we'll find out. Do they drive on the wrong side of the road? But which side is wrong? We've picked a harbour park up. A few others have been to this park up. It was recommended to us by a few of our subscribers. Yes. Just um, allows us to park right on the border because there isn't actually a campsite inside of Gibraltar and while camping is illegal. This campsite's literally bang on the border. You can watch the airport, which I know the kids would love, but you can have a nice five minute walk across the border and you're in Gibraltar. It's not five minutes, it's half an hour. It's not a half hour walk. It's half an hour. So we've just pulled into a Lidl's. Stu, for some reason, likes to drive the wrong way around every time we come into a Lidl's car park. Not sure why he does that. But yeah, we're just gonna nip in. We're gonna grab some food before we go over to Gibraltar. I wanna make sure I've got some breakfast on board and some snacks and stuff. Not that I should be snacking. I, I should be laying off, but friend. can't help it. They got these lush donuts in Lidl's. Oh, we've mentioned them before, so I, we just can't stop eating them. It's ridiculous. So we're gonna get a few more of those, I expect. Oh. And everyone's chatting. So I'll pick you up in a second when we get back. <laughs> what happened there, love? <laughs> Forgot the trolley. <laughs> yeah, and I'm stuck with you. Oh, phew, that was hard work. <laughs> Always take a trolley when you go into Lidl because you're guaranteed you're going to pick up more than you think you need. Well, to be fair, on this occasion, we said, oh, we'll get a basket because we did need a trolley shop. Yeah. And we go in, and this is the first one I've seen without the little trolleys. To be fair, if it weren't for Amelia helping, I don't think we would have managed to get anything. We would have had to go back and forth about three times. But yeah, yeah we're full, we've got our food. We're gonna go hit Gibraltar. Man Bert's just Come found himself again. a jet wash. Yeah, I'll turn around for it. We are covered in sand from the other day, aren't we? Yeah, so this is one of the times that I, I will allow it. Yeah, you, you allow this one, you darling. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the van is absolutely grotty. Um, it's a bit embarrassing driving around like this. And Ooh. we're not actually far away from the harbour now, so I think Stu's realised that there's a pretty view ahead and he doesn't want to miss it. It is very pretty, look at that. That's cool. And there's Gibraltar. Oh, that does look really nice. The sea it? looks wicked as well. Look how blue it is. And bear in mind, it's really cloudy today as well. So to have that blue in the sea is actually quite surprising. Oh, that's nice. But sorry to tease you all, we've now got to turn around because we're going to the jet wash. <laughs> <laughs> we get a second look though, won't we? We will, that's it. We get to see all that all over again, so it's not a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, well, let's go give this van a wash. We can take some nice pretty pictures of her then later. Yeah, the solar panels need a good wash. Is that why, are we getting batteries, um, our battery power okay then with all that dust on? 
it'll be it'll definitely be affecting it so if you remember a couple of videos ago we cleaned the solar panels i mean it was a couple of videos ago for you guys but it was over a week for us and obviously we when you're in these drier countries you get a lot more dust and yeah we got nearly an extra 100 watts of solar it went from i can't remember the exact figures at the time but i'm sure it went up 80 or 90 watts just from me cleaning them that's quite a lot man isn't it yeah it's a lot all right let's get going Elefante Azul. <laughs> In other words, a jet wash. These ones are really cool though, aren't they? Because you can just pop, pop your money in and then do it yourself. Yeah. Oh gosh, it's a windy one. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, you're good. So now that we're all clean, Let's go and take another look. Here's that pretty view again, guys. There's a lot more high rises there than I was expecting, but I guess it's only a small area, so they can only build up. So can we drive over there? You can drive over there. I think what I'm more inclined to do for today is to get our parking spot so we've secured our camp in for the night. Yeah. And we'll walk over today for a recce, and then if we want to drive over tomorrow, we can. Oh, look at this. Look at that roundabout display. They make a big deal of their roundabouts over the year. One of our lovely subscribers actually commented yesterday and said it's something to do with the area. So if it's like a harbour, they'll stick a boat on the roundabout. If it's dangerous driving, they'll stick a car smashed into a wall kind of thing. So I don't know. Could be. It yeah, makes sense, yeah. doesn't it? I guess it does. So thanks for that comment, by the way. That was really nice, actually. And um, as you all know, I love to read all your comments and I do try and respond to each and every one of you. But yeah, keep them coming. We absolutely love it. So thank you very much for taking the time out to message us and get in touch. We love it, don't we? Yeah. Do we pay for this one? Yes. I believe this one is about 14 euros a night. Oh, it's got one of the button things, look. I've I'll got... go out. I'll go sort it. Oh, thank you. I was going to say, don't make me get out again. So press the blue button, gives you a ticket. And then you would pay later, I would assume. Quick, before the barrier goes down. I hate those ones. You feel like you've got to go really quick. Yeah, come on. Oh, there's plenty to choose from. Uh, we, we found where all the Brits are hiding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All come to say hello. <laughs> that is pretty. Man. Yeah, see, I want to look at that view. See? Lovely. Do you want to go up that end? Are you serious? You see me turn right and then you have to say, do I want to go up that end? <laughs> All right, go down by there a bit then. Or here, 29, that looks good. Take that one. You sure? Or 27. Right. Yeah, 29. I tell you what, <laughs> I'll go where I want to go. <laughs> I want to yeah. go, I want to go next to a big van. Right here. So we don't get rocked. We don't want to go next, oh you could, no. And one whose door is on the other side. Look at all them pretty boats though. Aww. So what you've done is you've gone and parked next to a big van to stop the wind blowing our van. Yes. Clever. Let him take the brunt of it. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there, don't judge. <laughs> so, all parked up, just had some grab. It's a little bit windy today, but that's not going to stop us. We're on our way in. We're just going to make our way through customs. Check out that big black cloud. You can tell the land is British, can't you? Yeah, big black cloud above it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll get this done. You got the passports? I got the passports. Get in. So we're going to get through here. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we'll have some nice surprises. The cable cars are shut today because it's too windy. Yeah. And tomorrow I think is forecast with rain, so... Yeah, we may have to come back when the weather's a little bit better, but we're going to go have a recce anyway. Yeah, it was on our way, so yeah. it was silly not to, wasn't it? And that's it done. And just like that, we are on British land again. Yes, Gibraltar. Look, it's twinned with ghoul. We've been a ghoul. What did we go to ghoul for? I recognise that. I know, but I heard it was ghoulie. For God's sake. <laughs> So you've got Portugal, Jamaica and Northern Ireland. That's pretty cool. So what side of the road are they driving on then, Stu? They do drive on the wrong side of the road for the British. Do they? That's bizarre. So we 
we get a Gibraltar map? Yeah, go on, because we can show the kids later where we've been. Go on, then, in the top. Go on, then, Dax. And then, Paul. Paul, it doesn't come out. Have you been shafted out your pound? <laughs> Maybe they've run out. No. There it oh. is. Yeah. Keep hold of that, buddy. We'll look at that later. Time to walk over an airfield. There you are, RAF Gibraltar. I told you it was a raft. Where? There, on the sign. RAF. There we are. This is pretty weird. Walking over an actual yeah. airfield. Yeah. Is that the runway? Yeah. yeah. The runway goes right across the road. That's weird. And people are just willy-nilly, like just driving and cycling across it. Big easy jet by there. Wow. I know. Blowing a gale. <laughs> We're right in the open here. Well, it looks like I'm bringing the van over anyway. Tax-free diesel. Star diesel. One new pound, 15 a litre. Here's all the information on the big rock. We've got Moorish Castle, Great Siege Tunnels, Northern Defences, Laguna and Glasses. What's that? This is a, it says this is a prohibited area under the official Secret Act. Unauthorised persons entering the area may be arrested and prosecuted. Well, if that doesn't make you suspicious, well, well. I know, look, danger, exclusive atmosphere. Yeah, I can see there's a big cave over there. Area 51, It says up there, bomb proof battery. battery. Yeah. Spooky. Come cool. on, right. yeah, it's cool. Just literally walked over a drawbridge. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you Look at that. Thank you, Yeah. So this is on the main street. So this is really cool actually. You've got restaurants, but they've got some like, it looks like canopies and then people are eating outside. So it's still, it's very, it's British versus Spanish, isn't it? So the kids have just come out of the shop. They've got themselves some sweets and man but found himself uh, a little treat as well some dead man's fingers and we ended up getting two apparently you can take one litre per adult back here across the border to Spain yes you can all have your sweets so there they are helping themselves to sweeties and do you want to show what, what room you got so I got two I've got pineapple rum dead man's fingers because i i bought the cherry one on the boat and me and darren nailed that in one night yeah and then i bought a strawberry and cream tequila liqueur yeah that's a tequila isn't it yeah so that's a tequila and that's a rum hey not bad for someone who don't drink i know it? i was gonna say i can't buy nothing now we're only allowed a liter each Sorry, Beth. It's all right. It's all right. It's nice to see him excited. So we're going to go and have a look around. The other thing I've noticed as well is that the pound, it's definitely things are cheaper over here at, for a pound rather than using the euros. The euros seem to be quite expensive, actually. That would explain why our shopping bill so much, love. Yeah. Babe. Yeah, love. <laughs> they got a cost of coffee. Oh, God, you don't miss them, do you? <laughs> oh, it's right there. <laughs> oh, can I please have one? Oh, no. Get in. Is it the same as at home, love? Do you know what? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first coffee I've had since we left Britain. Enjoy. Nice. Thanks. So Stu's in there just buying himself some binoculars. Absolutely no idea why. So all of a sudden he started looking at binoculars. We'll find out off him now. <laughs> so do you want to tell everyone, let everyone know why you've suddenly fancied some binoculars of all things? Because over the last week, there was an occasion we were trying to see something out of sea and we just couldn't. We've been looking at the night skies recently, so they weren't expensive. They were actually quite cheap compared to most of them in there. But I just thought the boys enjoyed it as well, so I just thought a little set of binoculars to have a play with, really. All right, okay, not be pervy with. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's quite a busy high street though, isn't it, love? Yeah. Didn't have to mention anything. There's a lot more here than I was expecting. But to be honest, I don't really know what I was expecting from Gibraltar at all. But 
they've got loads here. Oh, he's back in another shop. Little telephone. Oh my god. Mini super small. That's, that's Hello? So cool. <laughs> that's the word. That is tiny. Hey, Oliver's been asking for a new phone. There we are. What do you think of that one, kiddo? It'll fit in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I can't be real. Do you well, think I mean, it's I like some sort of stereo or something? No, I mean, you're saying it's a phone. Yeah, that's yeah, the world's smallest phone. Yeah. It will work, doesn't it? I do need some new headphones. Mine are starting to play up. We'll go get some then, love. But I'm not getting AirPods anymore. I keep buying the AirPods and they're like 150 quid. And after about eight months, like I clean them. I keep them clean, but after about eight months, the volume on them massively drops. And oh. I can't hear from them. In fairness, you do have them in every night to sleep with them. So it's not like you can have an overhead style can you you've got to have the ones that go in your ear so yeah that's probably making it a bit more difficult but there's pods there yeah i just don't know how good they be maybe go in and ask them dex has been after one of these meta quest tubes for ages and they got iphones and, and they got a drone gopros it's a gopro 11 10 for 300 a lot of people are doing the insta 360s i wonder how much they're going for it's yeah. £389. £10 cheaper than Baco. Done it. They were 28 on the label. I asked for a bit of discount and the guy let me have them for 25 Happy with that. So I must say, I've been really impressed actually so far. It's definitely got a feel of Andorra for me. It's brilliant. I love it, you. Yeah, it's class, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Blown away, to be honest with you. And we haven't even gone up to the top with the monkeys in that eye. I don't know if we're going to do that today. Probably not. But we've decided as long as it's dry tomorrow, we're definitely going to stick around and yeah. come back, aren't we? Yeah, we're currently showing that <laughs> we're stood outside the HM government of Gibraltar building. We've got these beautiful cannons. Just everything here is just so full of history. The town's bustling, isn't it? Yeah, it's awesome. So, yeah, we're really enjoying ourselves as well. Yeah, we are. There's no two ways about it. It's been fantastic. Much more than we were expecting, wouldn't it? Yeah, if you haven't been, and you can, do. Definitely. <laughs> Official rock tours. Oh. See? Like Cable car, £34. <gasps> Look Monkey. at that. Well, we Should we... Special price on this side. Should we do this tomorrow, guys? No. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. In, take, instead of taking the cable car, because you get to see all of it, everything. Yeah, so they take you to see the pillars, the caves, the monkeys, the, the skywalk, which you said is a glass floor. So we all know I'm out on that one. <laughs> yeah, you see the castle as well. You could see, be worth it. Could be everything. an option. Yeah. Whereas with the cable car, it just takes you straight to the top, so you're only going to see one thing. Right. Okay. Fair enough. So that's what he was trying to say. And I, I actually thought that was a pretty good price. Yeah. So well, well. He said to come back tomorrow to, for a price. Yeah. For a deal. So that's fine. We'll come back tomorrow for a deal, and we'll let you know what that will be on tomorrow's vlog. <laughs> the eyes and wrinkles. Oh, and tick you, off. <laughs> and you use it uh, once in a week. You listen about the uh, Salvador Dali, the famous painting. It's a problem, Salvador Dali. Supposed to be good for wrinkles. Yeah. Look, do you notice how she picked me? Too old. Boy. You are the oldest, it's only fair. <laughs> only by six <laughs> months. <laughs> Can you feel any tightening? No. No, you're not. I just feel cold fan. <laughs> One minute. Do you see the difference? Yeah, you definitely look Very more good, useful yeah? on, the, on the left hand side. Do I look 20 again? On one side you look 20, <laughs> on the other side you look 40. <laughs> hey, less of that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, babe. Hey, don't come in that close. He looks like too. It's funny. Do I look 21 again? That's incredible. That is incredible. Wait, wait, do I look 21 again? <laughs> <laughs> so, so now Princess is out of the salon. <laughs> Can you see any difference? No. No. Four hundred pound they wanted for that serum. Four hundred yeah. pound, and they reckon and it was that a little bottle about that big. They said it was a promotion. It's normally a thousand. Yeah. Yeah. No thanks. <laughs> we like I, our I wrinkles. Thought, he said four hundred. You know what they do? They go in high and then come down. He said four hundred at first. I thought, right, it's giving about fifty quid. But then no, it was four hundred quid. Yeah, man. No. We landed in Gibraltar and we liked it so much we thought we'd check out the rentals <laughs> <laughs> how much was it though we just like to nosy don't we so for like a three bedroom apartment here because there's obviously not many houses you're talking at two thousand pounds up 
Oh my goodness, what a day. We have spent the whole day in Gibraltar. Yeah, literally. Might have done a little bit of shopping. <laughs> yeah, and it's Valentine's Day tomorrow, and the man that has been very kind, he's not only replaced my engagement ring that I lost five years ago, he's treated me to an eternity ring as well. It's something I've been asking for for a long time, so I'm really grateful. Thank you, babe. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. It's really kind. So, look, I'm a bit blinged. So yeah, chuffed to pieces. Oh, Thank you, darling. It's no been a fantastic day in Gibraltar. It has really surprised us. Nice little gem here, as we said earlier. If you can come, do Definitely. come. We're gonna end the vlog here, guys. Yep. Join us on our next one, because we are coming back in tomorrow, <laughs> and we're gonna do some proper exploring <laughs> <Yeah>. this time. <laughs> so until next time, guys. We'll see you in a bit. Ta-ra, guys. Bye -bye.